Uh, I know I definitely saw that on Steel Creek Road this morning. Still lots of ice. And let's go ahead and send it to Richard Devane because Richard, you tweeted me and said, W.T. Harris near Statesville, you're seeing a lot of ice there as well. Good morning. Absolutely correct. Good morning to you, Ruby. Good Tuesday morning, everyone. Yeah, we were on Statesville Road right uh, on WT Harris. We saw a lot of ice. Uh, there was a slick spot, so that's something that drivers need to be aware of. This is the situation as you make your morning commute. A lot of these back roads are areas where you're going to have to be very concerned. You're going to have to pay close attention. Anything you see on our screen, that on your screen right now, that looks like it's water is actually black ice. And a lot of places have a lot of ice. We're going to turn into one of these subdivisions real quick and let you take a look at just how bad it is for folks getting out of their homes, their apartment complexes, their subdivisions. You're going to have to, your biggest concern is going to be getting to your car safely, taking your time, but then don't be too overly uh, satisfied once you're in your car driving because there are going to be slick spots around the road. So the key word today is caution. Take your time. As you can see, these spots that look like they're water, those are actually icy spots. And that's something we need to be very concerned about as you make your morning commute. That's the situation right here on the roads. Of course, we'll continue to follow the situation and, and uh, show you some more of this as we drive. But right now, we're in the Chevy Storm Tracker. We'll send it back to you guys. All right, Richard, thank you. And this morning, the icy conditions also having an impact on local school districts. CMS says classes are canceled for students today, but teachers will still have to make it into work. Wake Up Charts Tradisha Woodard joins us live outside of CMS headquarters. Tradisha, CMS, just one district in our area deciding to change up the plans today. What other districts are planning to stay home this morning? Well, while some schools like CMS and Gaston are canceling classes today, others like Lancaster says they're going to go remote to avoid losing that one day of instruction. Now, take a look at your screen here. This is a map. It shows all of our mountain counties. You could see that all of the counties north of Mecklenburg has canceled classes today. York, Union, and Stanley counties already had scheduled a day off. And over in South Carolina, you can see Chester and Lancaster counties are switching to e-learning along with Fort Mill and Rock Hill schools. Chesterfield County will have in-person classes as usual. Now, most school districts say the district comes not only because of threats of black ice, but also because of power outages. Now, this couldn't come at a worse time as schools across the Carolinas are having trouble keeping the classroom filled with teachers, those staffing shortages coupled with COVID quarantines, and now weather closures just compounding the challenges schools are facing this year. Now, CMS says they're going to continue to watch the conditions in the county, and they say as of right now, they have not made any updates or changes, but if they do, we'll be sure to update you here first. And if you'd like to take a look at those school closures, you can log on to our website at WCNC.com. Reporting live outside of CMS, Tradisha Woodard, WCNC Charlotte. Tradisha, thank you. We appreciate it. This morning, power crews getting power back on for everybody around the Carolinas. Take a look at Duke Energy's outage map. Um, most of our area already have the power back on at this point. Just a few people in Lincoln and Chester counties are without power. Just an hour ago, Lincoln County had hundreds of outages and now it's down to just one. Duke Energy expects all outages to be repaired today.